You cannot just pray and say, anybody, let me, let me say this now, Pastor, I'm going to give the mic to you. There is a height I've discovered. There is something that you, there is a place, when you're fasting, how many of you know that people will go, you start fasting and they come back, they, they, when they came back, when they come back from the fast, fasting, they are possessed. Yes, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. Am I making sense here? They come back from the fasting. Instead of them being delivered, they came back with religious spirit. They become possessed. They start talking funny. Why? Because they went to fasting without the word. Because in that, in that realm of fasting, there are spirits you encounter. Yes, there are powers. Not only, God is not only person that dwells in that realm. Uh, we all, if you understand that, we understand that there are, there are three heavens, right? Yes, Atmospheric, then the one up there where the devil lives, then the heavens of heavens. Third heaven. I mean, so when you fast, actually your spirit is open to all those realms. I mean, whatever you feed yourself in that process of fasting depends on what kind of power you acquire. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Many people go far. I, I, I know for certain people that went fasting, he came back and he was, he came back and started speaking gibberish. So I, I, I thought you went to fasting. He went and contact demon. Why? Because they are, they are, your mind, your, your the spirit is void of the word. It's void of the word. And if God doesn't possess a man, something else possesses you. There are only two, two sides. There's only light and darkness. If God does not live in you, something else lives in you. That's not too way to it. Christian, okay, let me say this now. Christian, if you are truly born again, though, you cannot be possessed. If you are truly born again. But there are some people, when they receive Christ, they have not, they have not given their life totally to Jesus. They gave one to Jesus, and the other department, they left it with the devil. Amen. So Jesus is working in them. You remember our scriptures, if, if that was not possible, that talk, Thomas would not be saying it. James would not be saying that, how, how can good and bad come out of your mouth? How can dirty water and clean water come out from the same tap? That means it's possible for somebody to, to say he's a Christian and still be living a foul life. Why? Because he, have not, he or she has not totally given his life to God yet. Amen? So when you allow the word to take root in you, because the word, when it leaves that page, the word, the word is not living. It's, not, it's, 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 it's by itself just words. Until it leaves those scriptures, in those pages rather, and enter into your spirit. That when the word comes to life. Allow the word to enter. If I was to let the word of God dwell in you, not in the pages, in you, inside you, richly. Let it dwell in you, richly, richly. In other words, if the word is not in you, you are not rich. <laughs> Praise God, man of God. Pastor. Hallelujah. <laughs>